Hi everyone, I wanted to do a review on the Louis Vuitton Small Ring Agenda which measures five and three quarters in height and just about four inches from end to end in length. Um, it comes to like 3.94, so just about four inches. I just, I wanted to do a side by side comparison to a soft cover trashy love novel book just so you can get an idea of how small it is. I mean, not that it is small, there is, Louis Vuitton does make a smaller one called the Mini, the Mini Agenda. I've never seen it in person or held it, so I really can't um, compare it, but I have seen the medium a size Agenda, which is over seven inches in height and over five inches in length, so it is a bigger one. I would recommend the medium agenda if it if you use an agenda every day. I would say definitely go for it. Um, me personally, I don't use the agenda every day, um, just for to write to make to do lists or to write appointments in. That's pretty much it. Um, also, another reason is this is pretty much at max capacity. I, know I have a lot of no paper in here. And I feel like I can't fit anything else. And I feel like if you use an agenda every day, you tend to really stuff it with um, business cards and notes and and whatnot. So I, I do recommend a medium one if that's the case. But um, now inside of this, there is a front, there is a pocket in here. It does fit. I I put the Louis, I have this original Louis Vuitton address book. It's completely empty, but I always kept it in there. And I should take it out because it's starting to create um, a bulge. It's starting to develop a bulge in there, which is not good for the canvas because I don't want to stretch it out. It does have three slots to put credit cards or business cards. I just put business cards in there. I really don't use it, utilize it that much. And I don't have... Um, the Louis Vuitton Agenda refill, I actually now purchase um, the Hello Kitty one because the Louis Vuitton one is over, I want probably over $60 by now for a small ring one. I do have some of the original paperwork. Um, it's, I keep it in here because it talks about the different temperatures. Um, it also talks about size um, conversion from like US to Euros. It also talks about like table conversions from centimeters to inches. So I just keep that in there. It's kind of interesting. Not that I would probably ever use it, but I figured why not. And what I have been getting is, like I mentioned, it's the the Hello Kitty Agenda Refill. It's between, I think between $16 and $18 and you really can't go wrong. Also, Filofax, they have um, refills that look very similar to the Louis Vuitton one and they're pretty they're around the same price range as well but this particular one I got off of eBay and I'll I'll put the link for the seller for the store or the seller below in case you are interested but I did not get a refill for 2012 only because 2010 and 2011 it comes with so much stationery and no paper that I figured well let me just start using the na the note paper and use that up before I would buy one. So I'm definitely going to get one for 2013, but for now I'm just going to use up the note paper. Um, but just to give you an idea of what it would look like, the 2011 does come with the first couple, the first three months of 2012. So you, it comes with January, February, March of 2012. But this is what the month looks like. And I have to apologize if you hear the pages turn. It's kind of hard because this is this is stuff. So every time I turn it, you'll hear. Oh, you'll hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this is what the weekly the weekly agenda looks like, and then here's just no paper. One side I I do I keep for appointments, and the other side is like a to do list or things I have to pick up at the store next time that I keep forgetting. And here's also a Ziploc holder, which is really interesting, which is cute. You know, in case you have some business cards or little pieces of paper with notes on it that you don't want to lose, it's just good to have it. Um, this also comes with the address book. I haven't used it. It's still, it's empty. Um, here's also another back pocket, which is great. It's pretty deep. It goes for the, this whole length. I just keep the stickers in here that came with the Hello Kitty agenda. And there's a really cute one here. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's Hello Kitty in a plane. So if i getting ready for a trip, I usually just make note of it, like for a plane ride. I mean, um, I'll put the plain sticker just to remind myself, you know, for a trip, you need this or something. And here's where you would put the small ring. Um, I keep saying small ring. I'm sorry. The small pen agenda. I'm sorry. The small agenda pen. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
but it does not fit a regular size pen. You definitely need um, the agenda size one. I haven't gotten around to getting one yet, but maybe one day. But that's pretty much it. I mean, right now it's at max capacity, and I think that's why I've been holding off on the agenda pen because I feel like it's it's just not going to close at that point. But it is great. I don't carry. It's great if you don't carry a lot of stuff, um, and if you don't use one every day. I think it's great for that purpose. But like I said, if it's something you you, you need to write in every day, and you tend to carry a lot of business cards and stuff, then I would recommend the medium sized one. But I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.